Ever wondered how it would feel to travel from Madrid to Paris in a high-speed train? Imagine the panorama of landscapes whizzing by as you glide along the tracks at breakneck speed. The evolution of high-speed trains has been nothing short of revolutionary, transforming cross-border travel and bringing cities closer together. The journey hasn't been an easy one. With billions of dollars invested in new high-speed connections under the Pyrenees, the stakes are high. Yet for all the investment, the current state of cross-border rail services between Spain and France is dismal, with just a couple of trains making the trip each day. It's a scenario that seems to defy logic. In an era where we can send messages across the globe in an instant, shouldn't we also be able to zip from city to city with equal ease? But as we usher in 2024, all this is set to change. The year 2024 marks a new era in the high-speed rail sector. As the race of the rails intensifies, both Spanish and Italian train companies are gearing up to give the French TGVs a run for their money. Last year, Renfe, the Spanish national rail operator, introduced new routes from Madrid and Barcelona to Lyon and Marseille. But the competition doesn't stop there. In a bid to redefine rail travel, Trenitalia, an Italian rail company, has announced plans to launch a Paris-Barcelona-Madrid link this year. This ambitious project will be powered by the mighty Frecciarossa trains, capable of reaching speeds up to 249 miles per hour. This new route promises to expand high-speed journey opportunities, linking up with Trenitalia's separate Erio operation, which is already giving Renfe a tough competition on several routes radiating from Madrid. With these developments the future of high-speed rail travel looks more exciting than ever. But Trenitalia isn't stopping there. The Italian giant has been steadily making waves in the high-speed rail network, successfully operating in both France and Spain. With its ambitious plans, Trenitalia is set to redefine the rail landscape, one track at a time. One of its game-changing initiatives is the Paris-Barcelona route. This new route is more than just a line on the map. It's an opportunity. An opportunity for passengers to experience expanded high-speed journey opportunities. An opportunity for Trenitalia to further establish itself as a key player in the industry. This operation doesn't just stand alone, it links with Trenitalia's separate Erio operation, creating a seamless and efficient network. This Erio operation is no small player either. It competes head-on with Renfe, Spain's national rail operator on several routes radiating from Madrid. With each new route and every speed record broken, Trenitalia's expansion is rapidly changing the landscape of high-speed rail travel. And what does the future hold for high-speed rail travel? The horizon of rapid transit is looking increasingly promising. Luigi Ferraris, the CEO of FS Italian, has a grand vision for new rail routes connecting Spain and Italy via the south of France. The current scenario sees airlines dominating this busy corridor, owing to the absence of swift direct trains, but this could soon change. Ferraris's ambitious plan envisions a world where high-speed trains replace airplanes as the preferred mode of transport, offering a seamless, efficient and environmentally friendly way to traverse countries. This initiative could potentially transform the landscape of European travel, bringing about a new era of high-speed rail connectivity and competition. The introduction of such new routes would not only catalyze a shift in travel habits but also significantly reduce our carbon footprint, making rail travel the sustainable choice for the discerning traveler. As we race towards the future one thing is clear. High-speed rail travel is here to stay, and it's only getting faster.